On this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a webhook to um, your Stripe account. This is often required if you're using Stripe on your own website and um, with a built-in version of Stripe. Um, a webhook simply allows your website to know when a payment has been successfully made or other things within the protocol. Um, so let me um, show you how to do this. Um, to uh, add a webhook, you will need certain information um, normally provided by the software that you're using on your website to take payments, whether it's an online shop or booking system or whatever it may be. Um, this is here my notepad. It gives us a, a sort of an example of that. So here we've got the webhook URL. Um, and you can see this is the example that has been provided by the software we're using on our website. And we need to modify this a little bit by adding our own domain. Notice how it says domain.com. That bit there needs to be the domain of your website for this particular instance. So I'm going to go to my test website. I'm going to copy the domain. I'm going to bring that into my notepad. I'm going to paste that below. And that's the domain I need this to work for. But I also need this part here. So I'm going to copy that again and add that to my domain. So I've modified this URL to include the domain I'm actually using, my actual website. Now this is ready to be used. So I go back into Stripe. Um, when on a desktop mode, not mobile, we should see the menu down the left hand side here. We want to look for developers. I should add at the moment we're currently toggled in test mode. If you were setting this up for a live website taking real money, you would need to be in live mode. Notice how it says test data here. To get into live mode, if you're currently in test mode, you need to toggle it here. Currently our test website does not allow us to take live payments, but if you were fully set up and ready to take real money, then you'd be able to toggle into live mode and then do what we're going to demonstrate here in live mode rather than in test mode. Okay, so continuing in test mode, we're going to use our menu here to find webhooks. Click on that. Then we've got the option here of endpoint, and we're adding an endpoint. So once the customer has gone through the process of paying on your website, this is the endpoint that they'll reach. And at that point, Stripe will send a message back to your website saying, yes, we've received the money. You can now mark this particular order as complete. So we're going to add um, an endpoint in. And for that, we need the URL, which we produced before. Here it is here. So I want the one using are including actually the domain that we're setting this up for. So this one here, not the dummy above that. Copy it. Paste that in here. There it is. And now we need to add events. This is what it's actually listening for or the information it's going to be sending out to your website upon maybe a successful transaction. So again, there's two um, events that we need to set up for this particular instance of our webhook. We want a checkout session complete. So we're going to look at that for that now. So we need to look through this. It has quite a few things here. Checkout session complete. We're adding that in. And the second element that we need to add is invoice payment succeeded. Or six, su yes, succeeded. Invoice payment succeeded. So again, we're going to look for our list and look for invoice. Invoice payment succeeded. So we've added our URL and we've added the two elements it's going to be sending out or pieces of information that we're sending to our website upon a successful transaction. All we need to do now is click and add endpoint. And then we've successfully added our webhook ready to be used. Again, I should state that this is currently set up in test mode. If you're doing this for a live website going to take real money, then you'd want to make sure you've done this in live mode and not test mode within Stripe by toggling the option down here. Hopefully this helps you out to set up a webhook using um, within Stripe. Cheers for now.